Okay, so today we're gonna continue our conversations about wells. You've seen some of my previous videos about uh, how a well is constructed. And again, here's your well casing. Today we're out here at a property in East Pass Robles and we're doing a well test and I'm just gonna explain what we're testing for. So to start off the test, the first thing the well pump servicer does, they take this cable and they drop a sensor down the well casing and they're measuring where's the static water level. So how deep is the water underneath the earth's surface? This one approximately 350 feet. Then we, they disconnect the main line that goes up to the house of so the water tank. They separate that, hook up a hose to it. We're running water down the line. This is gonna be a four hour test. Um, and then they measure the volume of water in gallons per minute of what this well is producing. Right now we're approximately eight gallons a minute. And then for the first hour of the uh, well test, every five minutes, they're dropping down this cable with a sensor and they're seeing what's the drawdown. Again, this is gonna be a four hour test. So after four hours, they'll say, uh, you know, the well started in this case and say 323 feet deep. And maybe after four hours, it might get to 400. To be determined, but that's what we're gauging. And then we're gonna look at to see where's the well placed? How deep is the well itself? Or excuse me, the uh, well pump. So if the well pump is say 500 feet deep, we know we have 100 extra feet in this fictitious scenario of how much space there is for the well, uh, well pump to be dropped. Other things, going back to the well completion report, you can watch my other video on well completion reports. But anyway, today we're out here and we're just doing this well test. And if you have any questions, definitely leave a comment or ask us and we'd love to help. Thanks a lot, bye-bye.